In this section, we will cover the suggested purging procedure for conducting a shutdown and startup in an extruder for compounding. But first, it is important that you select the appropriate grade of DynaPurge for your specific needs. If you haven't done so already, please consult your DynaPurge representative to determine which grade is best for your purging process. Also, before performing any purging procedure, it is the machine operator's responsibility to be aware of their company's safety policy, to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, and to make sure that only authorized personnel are in the area. Now, let's get started. Shutting down. Maintain temperature and RPM settings for resident resin. Disconnect or shut off auxiliary feeding equipment and thoroughly clean the hopper. Begin to empty barrel, and when resident resin is below the feed throat, introduce DynaPurge, one to two times barrel capacity, into empty hopper or side port. Note, actual amount needed depends on machine conditions. Remove screen pack and ensure die gap clearance is at least 31 thousandths of an inch, 0.75 millimeters. Note, if unable to do either, refer to DynaPurge X, K, or SF in the grade selection guide. Begin to purge and continue until the compound flushed out of the machine is clean and free of contamination. Ensure barrel is filled with DynaPurge. Stop screw rotation and reduce the temperature by lowering or turning off the heat zones of the machine. Caution, as the purge solidifies, take care not to rotate screw. Starting up, turn on and or raise the temperature to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, above the minimum operating temperature of DynaPurge. Note, make sure to review startup protocol on machinery for additional information. When the desired temperature of DynaPurge has been reached, begin rotating the screw slowly to avoid too much torque. The purge may still be stiff, so do not rotate the screw at full RPM. If the purge compound exiting the machine shows signs of contamination, introduce more DynaPurge until the compound flushed out is clean and free of contamination. Thoroughly clean the hopper and adjust temperature settings for your next production resin. Using your next production resin, flush out the remaining DynaPurge. Thoroughly clean the die surface to remove any contamination and, if applicable, install new screen pack and make die gap adjustments. Start production run. If you have other operators responsible for purging, we encourage you to let them know about our training video as well. We also invite you to take advantage of additional training resources located in the performance tips section of our site. To ensure excellent purging results, always remember to establish comprehensive purging procedures, properly train personnel, monitor the results for consistency, and contact your DynaPurge representative when in need of additional technical assistance. Thank you again for your trust in using our DynaPurge products and services. We'll continue to work hard to earn your business.